Are you thinking about moving to Spain? What's the first thing you need to know? In this short video, you'll find out, and I'm going to give you lots more information too. Welcome to You to Spain. Hi, I'm Scats, and on this channel I have a live stream every week where I interview experts and expats about moving to Spain and help answer your questions. And what I've found when I search on social media for the sort of questions you ask the most is there's always one question that I need to ask you first before anyone can help you. Actually, it's two questions. Which passport do you have? And if you're moving with your partner, what passport do they have? Your answer to those questions is really, really, really important. And this is the first thing you need to know. The difference between moving to Spain with a passport from an EU country and moving to Spain with a passport from a non-EU country is huge. And this is something that especially British people need to know since Brexit, because they've been used to being able to travel around Europe, live there and get a job. That's the privilege of being in the EU. EU. But now the UK isn't in the EU. You have to follow a different set of rules. It's not a new set of rules and it's not a one-off punishment to Brits because of Brexit. It's just the rules for people who aren't in the EU. Those people are called third country nationals. So now you have to follow the rules that people from, say, Australia or Canada or the USA or India or Afghanistan or many, many others have to follow when they're moving to Spain. You see, it's now just as difficult for a Brit to move to Spain and get a job or retire there as it is for, say, an immigrant to move to Britain and get a job or retire there. And whatever some tabloids might have you believe, that really is not easy. The bureaucracy can be a nightmare and you have to prove to immigration that you have more than enough funds to support you and your family indefinitely, really. The actual amount you need to be able to live in Spain as a non-EU passport holder is quite a lot more than a Spanish person could actually survive on. That's a fact. And it is what it is. That's not going to change. The rule is there. Spain isn't going to relax that rule for British people eventually because you're British or because you've been going to Spain for years or because they need our money. Oh no, how can they treat us like this? Well, they can and they must. You can complain until you're blue in the face, but it is what it is. So now you see, you have to go through the process of getting a visa from the Spanish embassy near where you live and applying for residency. And if you're thinking of working in Spain, the visa you need for that involves even more proof and even more jumping through hoops. It really isn't easy. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to put you off. Spain is the dream for a lot of you. I know it is for me. I just want you to be realistic and to know that you must plan ahead and work really hard to make that dream come true. Thousands of people do it every year. Do you need help? Well, we have plenty of videos on YouTube Spain to help you and advise you all about the visa application process and everything that goes along with it, as well as top tips on moving and importing your car and buying a house and much, much more. You're in the right place here and you can ask questions live on the Spanish Breakfast Show every Saturday at 10.30 a.m. Spanish time, which is streamed on YouTube Spain, on YouTube, live from Spain. So there you go. That's the first thing you need to know. What kind of passport have you got? If you or your partner have an EU passport, then you have freedom to travel to and work in Spain and apply for residency to stay there. And you can do that in Spain. One more thing, if you don't yet have an EU passport and one of you has an Irish parent or grandparent, then look for the video on this channel all about how you can get your EU passport. I'll put a link in the video description below. If you like this video, then like this video and ting, do the notification thing so you can be the first to know what's coming up on every single live stream. Peace and love. Bye for now.